it is the time of the week and we have the spoilers for chapter 1111 yeah it was fun to pronounce it in that way it was theorized to be a zoro chapter because of the number 1111 because that's zoro's bounty but in this chapter not too much happened with zoro but yeah something did happen with zoro so let's just get right into it one of the gorose members tries to force his way into the labo face as we saw in the last chapter it's saint marcus mars who's trying to do that i don't know if he succeeded or not but he will and i'm betting on it bro is gorose after all then we move right back to zoro smoking the luchi pack the fight between rob luchi and zoro has ended but it seems that luchi is still standing he is still standing after zoro used conquerors on him no matter how much people shit on luchi let me just take a moment to remind you in the single in a single arc he went toe to toe with gear fire and zoro using conquerors dude is a tank and i can't even disagree on it i think what he is trying to do here is that he somewhere knows that all the gorose are on egghead and my man is just stalling until one of them reaches and yeah fights zoro and jinbei the fight between luffy and gorose continues the giant asks luffy about nika but luffy still doesn't know what they are talking about I can't even blame him. The whole thing about Nika is so suppressed in the One Piece universe. Like even if you mention his name, you will get arrested. Even the Straw Hats didn't know who was Nika until Vegapunk told them. Even Robin. Warkery launches a gigantic wave of haki which confuses Luffy in a very funny way. The giants block the Gorose's attacks. Then Luffy creates a baseball bat and hits a home run with a Gorose. It's either Jupiter or Valkyrie and my bet is on Valkyrie not only Luffy laughed on his haki which is just outright disrespect but Valkyrie is round and if Luffy made a baseball bat Valkyrie is the perfect baseball to hit i don't know if it's just me or or everybody thinks this way but the fact that in a single arc Luffy has damaged two gorose speaks volumes bro is not holding back since the final saga began The Straw Hat gang runs towards the giant ship to escape. The Marines try to comfort Kizaru who tells them to let him rest. At the end of chapter the giant wakes up completely and his first words are I am sorry joy boy. Like obviously, give bro a break. I think Kizaru is personally holding himself back because he just wants he just doesn't wants to do anything after killing one of his best friends. Dude is not in the game right now to be honest. And, but what did get up was the giant robot and he started and he started saying sorry joy boy no clue on what he his meaning here no clue on what he meant here but i know for sure if this dude wakes up he's taking down one goro say for sure of course not killing them but making sure that that the one guy is busy is just like battling the robot and that could be ethan baron most probably as he is galloping around egghead right now with the task to kill all the robots and this is technically the biggest robot he can deal with also the fact that robot has a this robot has a history with merijua where it tried to attack and bring it down i think it will wake up and go for a gorose as he might sense some kind of weird energy these guys gave off or it's just a robot who listens to joy boy and now luffy has a new toy to play with Thanks for PewPie for providing the leaks. Do check him out on Twitter and also there's like a 3 week break after this so I guess things won't be fun for a while. I'll miss one piece. It's been a while. Oda has went on such a big break. Anyways, do let me know your thoughts about this chapter and I'll see you soon in the chapter review video.